Right guys, so I have a slightly unstraight edge at the end of my 4x2. This is the, uh, the very quick build of uh, the wine holder. So you're just gonna, I'm just gonna square this off. Firstly, Once again, forget to put the dust collection on. And now we've got a straight edge. We're gonna measure. So basically, if you're using a wine bottle with no wine in, you need to be something around, um, around 20 centimeters, I think this is. Let's just check. Yeah, so your cut is 20 centimeters, so your cut would be at 17. Um, and then if you were using a wine bottle, you'd need the longer version, which is this, and you could cut at 20. So there is no rule because the wine bottle will go further in or further out depending on how you need to balance it. Um, but these are the two that work for me with feeling confident about putting a bottle in and just leaving it and knowing that if it gets knocked, it's not, gonna, it's not, it's not on the brink of falling one way or the other. So, um, so you could say uh, six inches or seven and a half inches, depending on, um, depending on whether you're using actual wine um, bottles or empty wine bottles. And then um, you just need to set yourself up for 45 degrees. And then your 45 degree cut will be your base. And it just works. collection on again for uh, the hole that the bottles gonna go in I'm just gonna use this template but I'll, I'll measure it for you that's um, 55 millimeters uh, so that'll be two and a quarter inches I think check that but again it doesn't matter because if you're eighth of an inch out or half an inch out even it just means the bottle's going to go further in or, or further out to, to balance correctly but but with these measurements I'm sure that um, the balance is good and, and we're not on the brink as I said drilling into the to the workbench it's pretty much dead center obviously keep your drill level but again that's more aesthetic than anything else because the wine bottle is going to be smaller than the than the opening and then away we go I shouldn't have done that when I got when I got nearer the end the the spade bit would have made a hole that I could have easily identified from the other side. So being near the end, I could have easily flipped this over and um, and finished the hole from the other side, which would have let, meant there was no blowout at the back. That being said, a tiny bit of sanding and that'll be absolutely fine. Of course, I'm not gonna make you, make you watch all the sanding. There we are. No fiddling, no anything else, just straight in. So um, that works, we've got the good angle, the right angle. Um, so it's all good. We'll just finish this off then and the final photo will be, uh, will be there so you can see the, see the finish. As 
my own responsibility, so everyone should take their own safety precautions. To be perfectly honest, I normally do this outside, which is of course much more sensible, but there's so much noise outside, I wouldn't be able to film it, so that's why right now I'm doing it inside. Then that, that sort of charcoal look. On the end here. You are going to get flames because, of course, you're setting fire to wood. Um, so there we go. That's just uh, just ready now. Let it cool down, and I'll give it a sand and show you the. The final result so guys there we are this is the uh, 200 subscriber giveaway uh, prize as well as the feathers um, the whole feather kit those two things will be going to the uh, 200 subscriber draw winner this week and let's carry on and sand this now. Just so I can show, this is the actual one that's going to be given away, but um, I'm not going to finish it now. I just want to show you the the, um, the look. You get. There we go, guys. So that gives you a good idea of what we're looking at. Of course, you can sand more if you want to, or sand less. Um, that's just mineral spirits at the moment, white spirits. But as you know, that that giving taking off the the um, sand sand dust or sawdust uh, with mineral spirits also gives you a good look at what the piece is going to look like once once it's completely finished. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, that's what I'm liking at the moment as a finish for these. So um, there we are. Here we go. Ready or almost ready for um, for the giveaway this week. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you this with the bottle in. Um, lit up. So very sadly, I don't have wine bottles in the workshop, but I'll show you later. And there we go, guys. I think it looks pretty cool.